In today's gospel passage, Jesus appoints 72 disciples and sends them in pairs to evangelize. Some Bibles, points out Petrie, states that Jesus appointed 70 disciples and sends them out to evangelize because ancient manuscripts upon which our Bible is based upon differ on whether the number is 72 or 70. The difference is not important, since in the Old Testament the meaning of 72 and 70 is essentially the same. This is because, comments Petrie, Moses, his three closest associates, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and the leaders of the twelve tribes can be interpreted as being assisted by seventy elders Moses appointed, and two elders, Eldad and Medad, who are outside the group that Moses had summoned, but whom God's Spirit had chosen to be appointed as well. Jesus, as a new Moses, as the fulfillment of Moses, institutes a new priesthood that is structured like Moses' hierarchy. Jesus chooses three close associates, Peter, James, and John, one of whom, like Moses' brother, is a principal priest, the Apostle Peter. Like the twelve leaders of the twelve tribes who assist Moses and his three associates, Jesus also chooses twelve men, the twelve apostles, to lead a new priesthood of a new Israel. Also, like Moses, Jesus chooses seventy-two elders. Like Moses, seventy-two elders who assist him, his three associates, and all the twelve apostles. The twelve men that Jesus chose to be his apostles are not representatives of all the twelve tribes, since Jesus was not forming a parallel Israel, but a new Israel that was similar and different from the ethnically-based Israel of old. Petrie points out that the number 70 also indicates this difference, since the number 70 and the number 72 symbolize in the Old Testament all the nations of the world that are referred to in Genesis when describing the descendants of Noah. The Hebrew Old Testament Bible lists 70 nations, while the Old Testament that was translated by the Jewish people around 250 B.C. into Greek lists 72. We have briefly reflected upon the sacred ordering of a priesthood instituted by Moses, and then similarly, with a difference, instituted by Jesus as the fulfillment of Moses. In the New Testament, as Benedict XVI teaches, The most important understanding of this sacred ordering, this hierarchy, is not that it is ruled by priests, plural, but rather because it is ruled by the one priest singular who is Jesus Christ, who is the sacred origin of the sacred rule by Catholic priests. The Pope, the successor of Peter, the bishops, the successor of the Twelve Apostles, and the priests who continue the mission of the 72 elders sent out to help the Pope and bishops and leading a new priestly people to a heavenly Jerusalem that is also to shine forth in a preliminary way through the church on earth by a priestly people of God who order their lives around Jesus and demonstrate this ordering by feeling, thinking, loving, and acting in a similar way as Jesus feels, thinks, loves, and acts. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Order our sacred priestly ordering that you established around you who are our origin, our common center, the source of all true hierarchies, the source and reason of all true priests. God bless.